Hello again, everybody. Marcus here, and I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song Resentment by A Day to Remember. So, so far, I've heard Mr. Highways thinking about the end, and sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. I've heard those two songs from A Day to Remember so far, so this is going to be my third song. Really looking forward to it, because I liked uh, Mr. Highways, and I loved Sometimes You're the Hammer. So, really looking forward to this song. Hopefully it holds up to the two previous songs that I've heard so far. Um, this does come as a request, so as always, if you would like to request something, please leave a comment down below, and I will be sure to get to it um, eventually. I've mentioned before I'm going through all of my older requests first, so if you've made a request recently, just understand that it probably will take a while for me to get to it, because I do take every single request that comes across my comment section, and yeah, it piles up pretty quickly, especially um, after that Nightwish song that I did. Shout out to the Nightwish Army, by the way. Um, anyway... Here we go. This is Resentment, A Day to Remember. Let's listen. All right, I'm excited. Exactly the same with a one track mind. I don't think I can change. Trapped in memory, stuck on the play, replay, That was a good way to end the song right there. A nice, some nice heaviness, 
really enjoyed that drop about, I don't know, halfway through the song maybe. Uh, to me, the second half of the song was much better than the first half. I feel like um, in the first half I was a little bored with kind of the, it almost sounded like pop, like like uh, pop metal if that makes sense. And I just, I wasn't digging that. I think my favorite parts of the song were the heaviest parts, honestly. And so like the second half of the song to me was just the best part of it. I feel like if they, I wish they would have stuck with that heavier sound um, uh, towards the end of the song. I wish they would have done that like the whole song. So, um, but otherwise, it was still enjoyable. Like I, I like the way the end of the song that drop was was insane. That was great. I love that. Um, and, and the singing was good too. Actually, it was uh, not offended by the singing, so it was very enjoyable uh, in many ways. Again, I, there's small things here or there that I might say uh, I prefer, but yeah, very enjoyable um, for the most part. So anyway, as we always do, let's break it down. Let's, let's talk about each piece. Let's start with the lyrics here. So um, now before I do, um, there is some information here. It says, in an interview with Kerrang, they said, the whole point to, of this for me was like, let's use the uh, a data remember formula, the same thing that everyone has always known and loved about us, but let's take on modern influences. Let's take on modern structure with the small chorus into the big drop part. And let's do that as a band instead of electronic stuff. Let's use some of those elements to make cool sounding uh, stuff as we go, but keep it that uh, but keep it that a day to remember sound there. And let's mess around with the new song structure and a modern production take, but keep the heaviness that is us. It's just crazy. And yeah, I mean, that definitely comes through. I feel like the modern stuff to me was the part I didn't really like as much, whereas the a day to remember heavy stuff was the part that I actually really enjoyed. So, uh, you know, it, it does seem like I've kind of found what I like about this band. After hearing this song, I'm like, okay, I can pinpoint what I like about this band. And it really is like their heaviness. Uh, uh, so like the modern sounding stuff, the modern take, you know, it wasn't as enjoyable for me. Um, but anyway, let's put that aside for now. Let's start with the lyrics. So uh, resentment, I need a short term fix for a long term problem. That's that's great. I love that. Uh, can I learn to love these chains? Ooh, I know I had a point, but now I forgot it while I'm circling the drain. No, I can't stop feeling like every day, uh, every day is exactly the same. With a one-track mind, I don't think I can change. Trapped in memories, stuck on replay, replay, replay. Uh, starts with a spark, then it's a wildfire, burning me up, burning me up. Uh, I, I really like the chorus, by the way. Uh, a dance with demons on a high wire, lift me up, lifting me up, resentment. So, um, yeah, to me it just sounds like someone who is stuck in this sort of loop of resentment. I don't know who or what they're resenting necessarily. Um, but I think they realize they're trapped in it, and so everything kind of starts to feel the same, it's, and this, this sort of resentment is start, starting to burn them up. But, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting so far. Uh, you know I lost my voice when I let the rot in. Hard truth cuts both ways, pouring out my heart. All that's unforgiven washing over me like rain. No, I can't stop feeling like every day is exactly the same. With a one-track mind, I don't think I can change. So their one-track mind is like on the resentment that they feel. You know, that's what, that's what I'm getting from it. Trapped in memory, stuck on replay, replay, replay. And so replaying those memories that have caused them to resent someone or something. Uh, so starts with a spark, then it's a wildfire, burning me up, burning me up. A dance with demons on a high wire, lift me up, lifting me up, resentment. I've got this chip on my shoulder, so I press the issues on site for all who need introduction. Welcome to the Eye of the Tiger. Go. So cool. Uh, you know, uh, referencing Survivor's Eye of the Tiger. That's, that's pretty neat. Um, uh, by the way, I know that I have a tiger is not my journey, um, uh, the whole night wish thing. Anyway, uh, starts with a spark, then it's a wildfire, burning me up, burning me up, a dance with demons on a high wire, lift me up, lifting me up, starts with a spark, then it's a wildfire, burning me up, burning me up, a dance with demons on a high wire, lift me up, lifting me up, it's a wildfire, it's a wildfire, resentment. So I think that's kind of, the, again, the message of the song, that resentment is like a wildfire, starts with a spark, but then it quickly gets out of control, which which I think he, right here, starts as, with a the spark, then it's a wildfire, that's the whole point. So that resentment for someone just continues to grow. And I wonder if, if this is sort of a condemnation of that. Like, don't hold resentment in your heart because what starts off small will become much bigger and, and almost uncontrollable. Or if it's just like, um, you know, um, I'm just talking about resentment in general. I really don't know. So, uh, but I think it's very interesting. Um, so, anyway, uh, lyrically... Two thumbs. I, I thought it was cool. I thought it was interesting, especially if they're talking about resentment and, and how it goes from being this sort of small thing to something much more 
uh, large as you continue to go on uh, and sort of engrosses you and, and overtakes you as a person. So um, pretty interesting there, I feel. Um, I think instrumentally, as I mentioned, I didn't really... Oh, so two thumbs up there. I think I mentioned that. Uh, instrumentally, I mentioned I didn't really like the modern sounding stuff that they had put in there, you know, the, the mod, their modern take on music. I felt like it was a little bit too poppy for me, and it really took me out of the song in, 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 in the beginning. But the second half of the song, to me, was really strong. I really, really liked their uh, heavy tone there at the, at the second half of the song that drop was fantastic and i like that they did it you know in band with, with like guitar and bass and drums and everything versus you know doing it electronically like they said so it was really nice to to, to get that drop that heaviness um and then they end the song with with a much more focused i think rock slash metal uh vibe and i liked so i liked really the second half of the song first half of the song again was a little bit too poppy for me so i'll give it like a thumb and a half instrumentally and by the way i mentioned the singer sounded great too i'm throwing it in there thumb and a half uh, he sounded great, you know, I, I liked his heavier vocals, but I also just liked his kind of rock singing vocals. I think he just had a really good voice for rock, and, and, and it really made it uh, not necessarily a metal song in some parts, but definitely a hard rock song, and it was just very, really enjoyable to listen to. Um, as far as replay value goes, you know, this one I'm, I'm on the fence about, because uh, like I said, I really enjoyed the second half of the song, and I'd probably come back to the song for that second half alone, but that just means that I have to get to the first half of the song first. Uh, which, I mean, the song is less than four minutes long. That's not like a terrible chore to do. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it, it was just kind of a miss for me uh, with the more modern sound. I mean, I appreciate that they were trying to mix things up. And, and I see how um, the three songs that I've heard from them so far are vastly different. And I can respect and appreciate uh, that diversity in their catalog. Uh, but for me, it just didn't work. I, I just got to be honest. So um, I'll give it one thumb up for replay value. And that's basically cutting my score in half, you know, getting rid of, rid of one thumb. I give it one thumb up. Um, I, I think I'll come back to it again. I think it's going to get put on the playlist. I might, you know, might skip it if it comes on on shuffle every now and then. But I really like the second half of the song. And to me, it was strong enough to bring me back to the song uh, one, at least one more time. So um, overall, I did enjoy the song, especially the second half. So thank you so much for the request. As always, if you would like to request something, please leave a comment down below. I think I have a few more songs from A Day to Remember uh, that have been mentioned so far. So you'll probably see them again on the channel. Uh, but if there's anything I haven't seen from them or something that you think would really uh, rock my world, let me know. Um, if you enjoy the music, definitely go support the artist. Go listen to the music wherever you can. One place you can definitely find A Day to Remember will be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below. It has every single song I've listened to so far. For on my channel uh it's like 17 hours of music it's a lot of music i've done a lot of a lot of songs on this channel um if you want to support me just all the normal stuff you do on youtube like and subscribe and comment that's it for me hope you guys are staying safe and healthy hope to see you in the next video bye for now